Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Tuesday afternoon. June 13th, we are looking at Window Traders market profile of the ES and SPY. It, um, so the bulls are very, very comfortable. They were very comfortable coming into CPI. The way they ripped it up yesterday, they were up all overnight. And then they gap higher today, we hold the gap in ES and SPY. Um, never went trend, ES has a poor high. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, but right now, out of the three indices we follow, we're up in eight out of the nine. The only one that's balanced is IWM's monthly. Other than that, the monthly, weekly, daily are up on all of them for us. Very impressive. NQ um, gapped, but closed it, but never got below the upper distribution from yesterday. They go out. 10 wide with an afternoon pullback in K, they do not take out the IB high or low. This market was very, very readable and accommodating today. It is also our ninth smallest range of the year uh, in ES and SPY. $2.70. However, with that, I, I managed to make, I made 42 points today because it was so um, accommodating and uh, what the algos were doing, which was awesome. Righty, Ends with a perfect 13 for 13 wide point of control. They did not gap, but they never saw the opening. They went high. They broke out of their daily balance to the upside. So they're up on the daily as well as the weekly. And they end up with an afternoon pullback in K. As far as we go, poor high in ES. We end 10 wide. We hold our gap. So, um, and we hold our trend day from yesterday. It, it's almost like the bulls are daring the Fed to do something. I'll be honest with you, the way the market acted with that price spike from K yesterday and continuing all overnight and today, it's almost like the, the, that CPI number was out and people knew about it because I couldn't believe how bold the buyers were and continued to be this, uh, this morning, even prior to the number. So very interesting. Um, they're looking now, they're saying it's almost... Uh, very favorable not to raise rates at all this time. I don't really think it matters at all. Who cares? Right? I still think they're going to raise them again, at least another quarter point. So whether it's now or in July, who really gives a rat's ass? I, I don't think it matters. So it's silly, the whole thing. I'm not going to go over all my trades because it's, there was a lot of them. Nothing was ever big, but I made 42 points based on all back and forth, longs and shorts. We were saying the market can't get much. We were shorting new highs. Saying the market couldn't get much. We were long in pullbacks. Every visual area to go back to park and thing of that nature, I took it. Um, and every one of them worked out. I'm talking about anywhere between a point to three points for the most part. I don't think I made more than three points on any one trade, yet made 42 points today. So up 45, 45 and a half. I only made three and a half yesterday. But still, to be up 45 and a half points, I'm very, very happy. I will be trading tomorrow uh, up until 2 o'clock. And then after that, odds are I will just watch. As far as destinations, we have today's high, which is a new um, yearly high of 437.33. The downside, we have 10 wide at 436.10, um, which is 10 wide. We have the afternoon pullback low, K's low of 435.36, and today's low of 434.63, and filling the gap at 433.88. That's a 75-point gap. ES, 1025 is the 10 wide, 0250 is the pullback, 96 is the daily low, and filling the gap at 89.50. And then on the upside, it's 23.25, which right now is our new yearly high, and it's also poor. One other thing to remember before I get to SPY's charts, NQ's high for the year is now in their overnight. They never got it, so carry that forward. And then just quickly on the chart. So here's the monthly, right? We had so much trouble getting over February's high. Boom, check that off. We've had a lot of trouble getting over August high. Well, we're above it by five bucks now. Is the next destination basically this triple top area here around the 457, 460 level? That's the question, right? The bulls have everything going for them right now. So we'll see. As the monthly is up, the weekly is clearly up, as is the daily. 
and the volume wasn't that bad today. We're already at 87 million, so we're already 2 million above average. So not bad volume, even though it was our ninth smallest range of the year. I hope you had a good day trading. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Enjoy your evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening.